Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Cass. This week we are at the third and final wig video. Yes, third and final wig video. I don't know if I, I, I didn't say this in the last video, but all three of these wigs that I have showed you, both of the blonde ones and this Bob Bang wig that I'm showing you right now, these are all three from DivaTress.com. They were sent to me from DivaTress.com. After God, my family and friends and all of their support, you guys have really shown me the love that I needed to allow me to even get these opportunities. So thank you, thank you so much. I hope that you have been enjoying these videos. Give me one second, my sister's calling me. Hey, Mun Mun. Give me one second. I'm, ew, give me one second. I'm filming my intro for a video. One second. You can stay on the phone. If you are new here, if this is your first time getting to my videos, to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can go ahead and get notifications. If you are returning, thank you so much for tuning in again this week. Uh, hit the bell if you have not. Um, yeah, so we're going to just go ahead and get started because this wig is a mood and a mantra. She was long. I cut her. I cut her in the video sort of kind of. Um, it was kind of hard. I tried to show an angle in the back of the mirror but I don't know how well that worked out. But yeah anyways she went through a few snipping phases so I'm going to show you guys how that worked out. I'm also going to show you guys what the inside of the wig looks like, the construction, how all of that works. So if you want to see how I got this wig to this point in its final form then just stay tuned. So this is the Motown Trust Yaki Wig Yaki Texture Human Hair Yaki Feel Wig in Y Dot Maxi in the color number one. Um, this is a curling iron safe up to 400 degrees. So this wig I got from Diva Tress as well. So this is what she looks like. As you guys know, I have been trying to find a good bang wig and I saw this one and I was like, mm, let me give her a whirl. I do not like this hair long. I love the color, love how the bangs look, but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and cut her. So I want to show you guys what she looked like before I did. She comes right down here. So I wanna say 20, 22 inch. Um, once again, I never looked up the chart. You ladies know. Um, so this is what she's looking like. Let me do a 360 real quick because I'm about to change this up. I This is just too long for me. So this is what she's looking like. Beautiful, beautiful wig. The yakky texture. It literally feels like braiding hair. Like the hair you use to get your hair braided, it literally feels like they just put that onto a wig, but silkier because I know you know when you take that hair out of the pack, when you start trying to separate her and you think it gets tangled. But I do want to go ahead and cut her short, so I actually bought my tools in. Probably going to face the mirror that way, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So I'm just going to try to even her out. This is a very dangerous game I'm doing. Let me start from the ends. Okay, here we go. Very easy, very easy to brush through. She does have, I want to say, a comb in the back. I don't believe there's like a comb at the top anywhere, but I'll double check for you guys. So I have it completely straightened here. I'm gonna just put my scrunchies. I want it to be like, I'm gonna just do it long first and see how I like it. So let me double check and see. This is a, this is a good length or not. Let me go a pinch longer and then if I don't like it, I can always go shorter. Is that where I want her? We'll try it here and see. I'm gonna just put the scrunchie on the opposite side the same way and I'm making sure I hold the hair really tight because it tends to like kind of gulf up at the bottom so you don't want it to be too crazy. Okay, so this is what I'm working with right now. I look like What's that girl's name from Recess? The tough, tall one, and she had the orange shirt, red skirt, and the hat. Was it Penelope? Y'all know who I'm talking about. That girl, that's who I feel like right now with this shirt on and everything. So I'm gonna just go ahead and cut underneath the scrunchie on both sides really quick. Give me a second. Okay, one ponytail down. Let me do this side. <laughs> Cut both sides. Now I really feel like her. What's her name? Spinelli? It was Spinelli. Spinelli. If I'm wrong, somebody tell me in the comment section, but I feel in my heart that that's where her name was. Okay. Take the scrunchie. Ooh. Ladies. 
I hope she's even around. Oh wow, this really just changed up the whole unit. I'm out of here. Bye, video cancel, gotta scram. Is she even in the back? Y'all let me know because I will fix this up later if not. Oh, no, she's not. Let me go to the bathroom real quick and just straighten her up and then I'll be back. Y'all, she looks so much better. I feel like literally, you know, my nickname is Cleo. Now I'm really feeling like Cleopatra. Am I Egyptian today? These wigs have been coming for my neck. I gotta go. Bye. I feel personally attacked by this wig and I just want to know who do I have to call to report because this is ridiculous. There is no reason for this wig to be this cute. Honestly, Bejo J got this wig and this is why I got it because she looked so good in it. And in that video, I mean, she cut that hair so much. By the time she finished with the video, her hair was like up to here and it looks so good on her. I'm now understanding her because I feel like I want to cut it like literally just a little bit more. So it can be like more of like a, like really a bob. Like I want to cut it like to here. You know what I'm saying? Like just have it like right at my neck basically. Um, this is cute. This is really cute, but I feel like just a pinch shorter. I'm not trying to go as short as she did, but I just want to go a little bit shorter. I put a little bit of baking soda on her. She was a tad bit shiny. It wasn't too, uh, like, it wasn't an obnoxious shine, but it was a little bit shiny. And because the hair is, sorry, my phone, I forgot to put it on silent. So because the hair is like a yakky, light, and it's like a Kanekalon um, texture, it is a little bit, like the shine is just a little bit more apparent. You can still kind of see it, but now it looks like a little bit more of a natural shine. But yeah, it really just looks like some permed healthy hair. I, ha I really just hope this doesn't tangle, and I'm glad that I cut it shorter because maybe now I really won't get a tangle. But y'all, I am upset. <laughs> Diva trusted it had to come at my neck like this with these wig options. Like the fact that they had this, I was like this. After I watched Beige's video, I was like, I need this. Then when they had it, I was like putting it in the cart immediately. And I got her. And now I feel like the bang queen. I mean, you can go lower if you want, but let me stop playing before I get hair in my eyes and I'm gonna start tripping. Guys, she's beautiful. I forgot to see if she has any combs. I know she has a comb in the back. Let's see if she has a comb in the front. Sorry, I'm gonna be crazy and take my wig off right now. Hey, how you doing? It's the real me. Um, yikes, this wig doesn't have any combs. I'm not gonna even lie, I would much rather have preferred, even if it had like a back comb, I, not even a back comb. I really just want one in the front, like two at the side that I could have just put into my brace to secure it because I mean, if somebody yanks this off, you're done for. So I'll probably put like bobby pins in. So that's my only con to this wig. There's literally no support. Like it's just the wig itself. It fits like a hat. I mean, I'm not mad at that, but they really could have tossed the comb in here. It also is that weird material where it's, there's like no lace. You can just like really feel the wefts kind of. You see that? Like I can stick my hand through, which I guess is great for breathable. And you know, if you want to itch your scalp underneath, but honestly, a net wouldn't have hurt to be put under here. Like if they would have put a net under this, it would have, it would have behooved them because if I'm the type when I be scratching my scalp, sis, I might as well just rip the weft out. And the way that this is constructed, that could really happen. So hopefully I don't have any issues with that. But as far as securement, you're definitely going to have to like put some bobby pins in here. Which I don't even know how you would do it from the front, you know? Anyways, she's cute and I'm going to wear her anyways. I, I'll figure it out later. I mean, you really could attach your own combs. But like, why buy a wig that's not already set all the way up? I mean, I have some combs here. I just have to find them. And I'll probably put two at the side just so I can, you know, just put it into my braids. But they really could have tossed the comb in here. It does have their bra strap so you can tighten it like a chapel. But I mean, honestly, how secure do we? I don't feel secure in this without any combs. I really thought it had at least a back comb. But like, what is that supposed to do when somebody comes at you this way? It's just going to come out the back. Like, no, I need something in the front. They could have at least, I hate the little middle combs. Like when they put those combs in the middle of the wig for you to put like right here. I would have at least if they would have put that in I would have been like okay now I feel some type of securement but it, it it's not possible with this one anyways I'm gonna put her back on because I'm having a great time with this unit they really need to get some can we get some combs who did this Motown we need some combs okay sister girl Ooh, can't see her. a mood. I think I'm going to cut her short.
shorter. Get, let, let me just do it. I'm going to just cut her shorter because I feel like I like this length, but this is just a pinch too long. Like, I just want it to be, like, right there. So, I'm about to go do that. I'll be back. I've reached my final form. I've reached my final form. I love her shorter. Um, that's the first time I cut it. It was cute. I like that length, but it kind of felt like a costume whip to me. Like, if I was going to be Cleopatra for Halloween, that would have been, like bomb like if that's a look that I'm going for I'm gonna just get this wig again and cut it that exact length but I wanted this to be more natural looking like more of like something that I could wear out in the streets and not have any issues and it just looked like my real hair kind of and this length to me is like perfect it's super super cute I just see this with like I almost see this wig with like a gown kind of like something gold and glittery and you literally just don't even need to like dress that kind of dress up you just have this wig on, have like a very like golden makeup look, and then you just have your wig and your heel. Oh, that would be cute. That would be cute. I mean, I just feel like this is the energy that I'm giving y'all. Am I Velma? I feel like I'm Velma. I'm Velma. I'm wearing a shirt similar. I have the glasses on. You know what? I'm going to go solve a few crimes because clearly I'm a meddling kid at this point. Guys, it just feels, it's so like freeing you know it just moves there's so much movement so much body and it's just so lightweight I don't even feel like I have anything on I just feel like when I wear this like I'm so in love with you girl I got my vibe looking cute and I'm gonna do a shoot hey 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 well I'm a singer at this point guys Overall, I love this wig. I really, 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 really wish we had some type of securement method because these bra straps are just not it. Like, you could easily just yank this off. And that's unacceptable because people like to play too many games in this day and age where I'm not trying to get exposed out in society and my wig be snatched off. Like, that's not what I'm going for. I don't even want to do that snatching of the wig in my the own comfort of my home when I get off work. I just want to be like, ah, it's been a long day. You know that when you take your bra feeling, that's that that you only want to feel that in the personal comfort of your home in your space. You know what I'm saying? So I would prefer for real, for real, if they would have just had like a comb or two in here. Like it would have really been nothing. They could have put two right here at the sides and I could have easily just shooped and been just felt 100% comfortable still gonna wear her out in these streets because she is a cutie patootie and oh I just love it I kind of got it a little un like choppy on this side but I wasn't about to cut it shorter to make it match so you know what life is not symmetrical life is not even so we're just gonna rock with it if somebody has an issue with my hack job I mean their personal issue not mine like I said I'm not a hair professional I don't like care if it's too much of a like super perfect job as long as it looks okay in passing and to the naked eye I'm fine so like knowing like the specifics is not like a big deal to me so yeah overall I truly love this wig I'm definitely going to be rocking her she's giving me everything that I need right now like can you imagine her in the winter months with a cute beanie on I'm coming for next coming for next with that in the winter like this is this is, I can't speak. I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Let's interact in the comment section. Talk to me because I love you. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.